let's take one step back to the negotiations that mm -hmm. have pretty comprehensively failed, at least for the moment. The American view, and I think we, we have some insight about what Martin Indyk felt, and we've heard John Kerry on this, and we kind of understand where Obama is. They believe that, you know, yes, the, that, that Mahmoud Abbas, Abu Mazen, the president of the Palestinian Authority, um, did not take various courageous leaps that he should have taken, and the Palestinians are dysfunctional, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, but the thing that, that, that broke, that, that the thing that caused the breakdown was continued commitment by the Netanyahu government to expanding settlements, including settlements outside of areas that everybody knows secretly will be part of Israel in a, in a, in a, in a, in a final settlement, in a final uh, negotiated mm -hmm. settlement. So, I mean, I, I want to hear, and I think the audience will want to hear, I, you don't work for the government anymore. You don't have to defend it. But I mean, uh, uh, is the Obama administration wrong? I mean, when they when they're dividing up blame, they're looking at a kind of a 70-30 or 75-25 split. Yeah. But it's a 75 30 split between the Palestinians and the Israelis. Where does the American blame come in? I think there were, were profound mistakes made early in, 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 in the first term of the Obama administration back in 2009 that we that neither side was able to uh, extricate themselves from those difficulties. The, the primary difficulty, and, and I'm just reading Hillary Clinton's book, and she acknowledges this difficulty. It came as a great relief to me that I'm not the only one saying this, was that um, the Obama administration disavowed the existence of the Bush-Sharon letter of 2004. Now we're getting into like the, the nitty gritty of a Middle East diplomacy. 2004, uh, President Bush uh, wrote a letter to then Prime Minister Ag Sharon saying that we know that in, if a two-state solution comes about, that the major settlement blocks, which are comprised by 80% of the settlement population, and the Jewish neighborhoods of Jerusalem that were built beyond the 1967 lines will be part of the Jewish state. And what this letter did was to create diplomatic space, diplomatic space for Israel, because it enabled us to say, hey, we're building settlements. We're just not building beyond the blocks. But it also created space for the Palestinians. And Mahmoud Abbas, if he was up here, he'd tell you this, just what I'm telling you now. The minute you disavowed that letter, any time you built an a, a apartment in a long-standing Jewish neighborhood of Jerusalem, and Israelis have no idea where the 67 lines are in Jerusalem. It's a complete myth. We, we grew up in between two areas that had been part of Jordan before 67. Our own kids have no idea that that, that was the case. The minute you build one of those apartments, then you've built a settlement. And the Palestinian president cannot be more Palestinian or less Palestinian than the president of the United States. So he's got to say that stops the process too. So everybody got denied their latitude by, by disavowing the Bush-Sharon letter. And we're still okay, digging ourselves. What, what, what caused Kerry to say poof? in his, his testimony before the Senate Relations Committee. This was uh, in April. He said that uh, we had this negotiations going. And then Israel announced a major settlement construction project. And poof, the, uh, by the way, there's no word for poof in Hebrew. And I had to go on radio and explain long you know, what poof actually meant in Hebrew. Um, the poof was four, what was it, four or 600 uh, units, apartment buildings, in a neighborhood known as Gilo. Ask 98% of Israelis if they think Gilo is a settlement or even if Gilo is located beyond the 67 lines, they'll have absolutely no idea. But that poof was not created by the state of Israel. That poof was created by American foreign policy. And it was a poof failure. Okay.